What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be talking about bottlenecking, a concept which still confuses a lot of people. So bottlenecking primarily has something to do with your CPU and your GPU. So for example, you have a dual core Pentium processor and your graphics card is a GTX 1070. Now normally that would cause a bottleneck because your CPU can't output all the frames your GPU is putting out. To simplify it, your dual core Pentium can only process 60 frames from the GTX 1070. While having an i5, a quad core processor can process and output 100 frames from the 1070. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that the bottlenecking is completely gone because an i7 may be able to get 120 frames from a 1070. Now let's go to something that most people don't know regarding bottlenecking. The game you're playing, the resolution you're playing at, and the graphics settings of said game. So I'm gonna be doing sort of a live benchmark just to show you guys what I mean. Okay so right now I'm running GTA 5 which is still a very demanding game uh, even today. So just to demonstrate what I mean when bottlenecking bottlenecking doesn't only involve your hardware but also the game you're playing, the resolution you're playing at, and the graphic settings of the game. So I have here fraps for the FPS counter in the top left corner. If you guys can't see that, I'll just uh, maximize that or enlarge that in post-production. I decided not to screen record this just to maximize performance. I'm running this on an i5-4460 and GTX 1050 Ti. Uh, I'll just list the full specs of my PC in the description down below. So right now, um, we're running at 1080p, pretty much max everything out to times msaa uh, because most of you know msaa brings a gpu down to its knees okay so right now we are averaging at the uh, mid to high 50s low 60s yeah just averaging in the high 60s now this is a case of the gpu bottlenecking our cpu because our 1050 ti is working really hard to render all these pixels the details and everything on the other hand the i5 is not really working that hard um, because it only needs to process fewer frames um no process fewer frames than it actually can so I'm gonna go back into the menu and lower everything um, let's go 1366 by 768 um, turn off MSAA and just turn everything down to normal I mean, um, yeah. and I think that's pretty much it and I'll just restart the game real quick yeah I almost forgot to lower these so right now officially um, we are now at the lowest of the low settings Okay, so right now we are averaging at the 100 FPS mark, um, high 100, I'm not going below that thankfully. So right now, um, this is a case of the CPU bottlenecking our GPU since the 1050 Ti is working with a lower resolution and lesser details. So right now, it's outputting more, than, uh, more frames than it did at 1080p and max settings. Bitch. As you can see, I'm reaching the high 90s but not going below that which is good of course. So in this situation, the i5 is working a lot harder to process all these frames and most of the time, the CPU can't keep up with the GPU. Um, so this may be solved with having a something like an i7. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Okay, so uh, at the end of the day, bottlenecking is not something you can eliminate completely and is not something you should be worried about. At least that's what I think. So, what should you do so that you don't keep asking questions like, Oh yeah, bottleneck ba to? Now, this goes for pretty much everyone, so invest on a decent CPU, an i5 or an R5-1600, at least 8 gigs of memory, and for the graphics card, which pretty much depends on your budget, the games you're gonna be playing, and the resolution you're gonna be playing at. Um, click right here for my graphics card buyer's guide, which should cover any type of user. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. I'm not gonna be asking questions like, Kuya, bottleneck ba to? If there's something you didn't understand on bottlenecking. So, 
leave a like, share, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. As always, bookmark and use my Lazada affiliate link when buying at Lazada as a way to support my channel. Don't worry as it won't have any additional charges to your purchase. It just gives me a small kickback every time you use my link when buying at Lazada. And if you don't mind donating at all, I'll also leave the link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.